I'm going to move into the next two segments. This coming one is about customer relationships. <clears throat> so what relationships are you establishing with each segment? Is it personal? Is it automated? Uh, automated? Um, you know, is it something that they buy in on a monthly basis that they continue to deal with you? Is it something that they do, uh, they, they, you have a relationship with them which binds them to you because you're a monopoly or you've got some kind of technology that hooks them to you? What is that key thing that binds your customers to you and to the services that you're providing? That is the relationship part. So I'm going to move a little bit faster in this. You'll find that in the case of Gillette, so Gillette has a segment. They target basically males, 66 to 99 years old. Um, and the need that this segment has is a very good shave. They have a value proposition, which is the razor handle. As you see, they keep on changing that every now and then. They have the blades. And they have a brand value, which people feel good about using Gillette. Um, their channels, of course, are retail stores all over the world. And their customer relationship is a patented lock mechanism, where they lock you know, the, the blade with the razor handle. So that is how they lock us up as well, because it's such a convenient kind of lock. So we continuously go to them to buy um, you know, to buy the technology. So that is the kind of relationship they have. Now, again, there could be other cases where this is an example of a system integrator. His main focus segment is banks. The value proposition is securing customer data and allowing 24 by 7 monitoring. They do this through direct sales teams. Since it's, they're focusing on a specific industry, it's not that difficult to put direct sales teams, so they do that. And the main relationship they have with banks is this ongoing support. It's like a hook that they have um, with their customers because the customers keep on going back and forth you know, to, to deal with them because they're able to provide this ongoing online uh, you know, uh, support. So what is the relationship you have with your customers? What is the key thing that makes them come back to you? When it comes to the customer relationship, you need to try to keep you know, this reason for the customers to come back to you over and over again. Um, if you can do it in the form of a patent, when Pad Panadol had a patent, patent on paracetamol, all of us would go and basically have the choice of either buying Panadol or aspirin, right, when we have a headache. So that was a huge, you know, luck uh, in terms of their, our relationship with them. Now, since that is, you know, the patent has gone, uh, has finished, so they, now you see a lot of different paracetamol offerings. So Panadol needs to think of other ways in which they could hook us to continue going back to them. Um, and the more you can think of these things that keep customers coming back to you, of course, the better it is for your long-term relationship.